Here comes Boris the puffer fish. Puffer fish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Here comes Henrietta Hen. Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs, but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite. Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval. An oval. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape? Rectangle Henrietta, what's the right shape? Egg, it's an oval An oval Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg Here comes Jimmy the Rabbit Oh dear it looks like Jimmy may be allergic to something. I wonder what it could be. What have you been eating, Jimmy? Hmm, I have an idea. Look at that. I think Jimmy is allergic to carrots. Can you tell us what an allergy is, please, Robbo? An allergy is when your body's immune system makes a bit of a mistake and thinks something harmless is dangerous to your body. In Jimmy's case, his body is reacting badly to carrots. Not to worry, there are lots of other delicious vegetables that you can eat instead. We have broccoli, cabbages and squash. They are all super healthy and taste fantastic. Look, 
The squash is even the same colour as carrots, but it won't make you sneeze. Yummy, yummy. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello, Sarah. Shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, Three! Three beautiful kittens! Well done, Sarah! You're a mummy! Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi, Lucy. How can I help you today? Stop, 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 Lucy, before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo. I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Fish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi, Gordon. You look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. 
Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. What a day it's been at the Pet Rescue Centre today. I hope you've had as much fun as we did. See you next time from me, Dr Poppy. And from me, Robbo. Bye! Bye.